Hi friends. So welcome to yet another session on Success Factors Compound Employee. And here we will present proceeding further with the rest of the where clause uh, or the select parameters. Let's first of all consult our understanding. And we will take into perspective here the comparative study between the three dates that we have studied so far. One is start date, the effective end date, and the last modified on. So these are taken in the perspective together going further. So now let's understand the comparative study between these three dates. So now uh, here's a slide. So going through the slide points. So we have started effective end date and last modified on. So we'll work on very specific segment of the employee, which is compensation information for the comparison of the fields so of these particular three dates, basically. So let's take an example here, following the grid is summary information of the object that is queried as below. So this is a query that is being executed and we are taking into account person, employment information, compensation information segments, where user ID is 103246 and is ordered by the start underscore date. So for this particular user, so this particular query, if we execute, so if we go back into the, as again, uh, like in the Notepad++, plus plus, I have copied all these queries, and these also will be attached to the lecture notes here in this particular session. So let's try to now execute this particular query here. First of all, let me paste it. And um, let me do a bit of a formatting here. Yeah, so this is what is the query. So we are taking person employment information, compensation from, from compound employee for the user ID 103246. And let me try to execute it. Okay, so I had recently renewed its session. So therefore we are able to get the results here. So let me copy it into the another file in the notepad plus plus and wherein we'll be able to study it much better so here we have the person segment we have the employment information we have the compensation information and again and the compensation information so basically we have two slices for compensation information uh, the first slice ended on 2nd of april 2020 and it started on basically 1st of January 2020. So 1st of January 2020 till 2nd of April. So around what four months. So and then the another compensation information slice that we had. So that basically started from the 3rd of April 2020 and till the end of the period. So majorly these two slices are what we are going to discuss and we will be putting them into perspective here. So we get the person segment, we get the employment information, which is started from 1st of January, 2020. And then we have the compensation information. So it started has been 1st of January, 2020. And the second slice has been 3rd of April, 2020. And if you see that, okay, the modifications that has or the creation happened on 26th of March, for all the segments and the last modification has also been 26th of March at the same date and time normally for all the segments which was done which is as uh, which, which is equated timestamp as well so there's no modification after the creation has happened for these four slices that we have spread out across three segments so now let's assume the current uh, payroll period is April. So let's say the uh, April is the current payroll period that is 1st of April 2020 and the payroll is to be furnished. So now payroll is about to be furnished. So let's see the imp impact of the following queries being executed. So now if you execute these particular queries and the replication system is basically trying to get this information and uh, that what is the payroll that needs to be furnished. So let's try to execute this information, this query here. Okay, so here we have the first query uh, which selects the same three segments here person employment and composition information But wherein along with the user ID Select parameter. We also have the start date greater than or equal to 1st of April 2020 So with this uh, what we are expecting to have so what the output will be getting so let's first of all try to execute it uh, Let me go to notepad plus plus take in the second query here wherein we are only putting the start date. Okay, and let's try to execute it here. Yeah. 
Okay, so we get the data, we get employment information, we have compensation information, we have compensation information again. So that is all the entire object is being returned basically. So both that compensation information slice is being returned, the employment information person uh, slice has been returned. So data is returned since the match of the star date happens with the compensation information second slice, the entire object is returned. So now uh, before we go any further, so let's go into this Excel sheet as well. So this Excel sheet have also may uh, like I have also made the comparative study here as well. So here and if you see the star date, so we can see that okay, what is the date format supported? So it supports YYYYMMDD for the last modified on it supports both the date time as well as the two date. And then there are some restrictions here wherein the function two date is not supported for last modified on in query mode delta. Only function two date time is allowed. So there are also some differences which have been sorted out over here and the effective end date so it also has the yyyy mmdd format to underscore date so start date effective end date both have the same date formats last modified on have two different formats and uh, in the full transmission mode both of them are applicable but in the delta mode only the two underscore date function is supported and also like the operators which are supported by the the operators that are supported by the start date and the uh, the start date here and the effective end date here is basically let's try to see that as well so we have this yeah, so we have effective ended last modified and started, and this is the operator. So effective ended operator is basically two operators are supported, equal to and greater than equal to for effective end date. For start date, only the operator greater than equal to is supported. And for the last modified on, uh, the, there are five operators which are supported in the full transmission mode, but then in the delta transmission mode, only greater than is supported. So going back to the slide points. So those was a bit about the operator and the format. So herein we got to know that, okay, with having this particular query place, we still were able to get all the four slices out across three segments. Now let's try to execute the second query, which is effective end date is equal to. So please note here we are putting in the equal to operator and that is again is equal to first of April, 2020. So we are trying to get the, uh, for this particular employee we are talking so whether what kind of a payroll information compensation information this employee has so if we would have made use of effective end date that okay what is the slice which is effective on this particular date first of april 2020 so let's try to get that so if we try to execute this particular query and uh, if our logic would have said that okay we are going to you make use of effective end date so let's see whether we will we would have been able to get the information of the compensation for that particular employee and if you try to execute it now so with this uh, effective end date equals to first of april 2020 is what we have got the output and herein we see that okay there is only one compensation information segment and then the employment and the person so that is fine so we have got only one compensation information and why so because therefore uh, that is, that is the only one segment which uh, so the compensation slice one is the only segment that satisfies the condition of effective end date equals to first of april 2020 because that lies between the started and the end date the other one is effective from third of april so that is that is basically filtered out so the data is returned since the match of the effective end date happens with the compensation information first slice so only first slice of compensation information is returned please note equal to operator effective end date is filtered effective end date filter is used here so you have used the equal to operator so the important takeaway is effective end date with equal to operator can be safely assumed that it will return the applicable state of the affected rated object on the date being compared with so if there is only this particular filter in the query so uh, that, that is what we saw that if there is only one filter or uh, this is the only filter in the query then this is the logic that follows that okay only the segment which is effective is shown up on the output uh, basically why we have put in this particular clause is if there is only this particular if this if there is only this filter filter in the query it is because 
uh, just to clarify that okay if there are some additional select parameters then those also being taken into account while furnishing the output so it would be uh, cumulative eff effect of all those select parameters but just to let the concept of the effective entity be clear that okay if there's only this particular filter then only those slices which are effective for that particular date which has been put in only those would be outputted and also we had only used the equal to operator so with the start date we saw all the slices across all the segments were being were being outputted but with the effective end date only those segments only those effective segments effective dated segments which are basically um, which basically match to this particular condition are outputted along with obviously the person and the employment which are non effective dated segments so those are also outputted now coming further so herein we have uh, again uh, so that is the same thing so we will continue further here and now we will execute some other query now here we are executing effective end date greater than equal to 1st of april 2020 so if we would have executed this particular query wherein we have used the greater than equal to operator of effect on effective end date then what happens so let's try to execute this as well so we are basically placing it here and then let me format it a bit and then yes run it and this time we see the, yes we have got the output but at the same time we get for the employment information under the employment information parent segment we have compensation information segment one and the slice two so we have got for compensation information both the slices being outputted so if we go back to the slide points since here effective end date have greater than equal to operator not so not only the current but if there is any future segment that matches the condition is also returned and both the slices of the composition information is returned right so coming to the uh, fourth query here so we have basically placed both the started date and the end date here so start date is greater than or equal to so this is only operator that is supported by start date and it is the same clause, 1st of April 2020. So we know that okay, only placing the start date greater than or equal to 1st of April 2020 will basically output all the four slices here. And also on top of it, we are placing the effective end date filter that is equal to 1st of April 2020. So see, let's see uh, what is the cumulative effect of both of these filters being placed. So let's execute the start date and effective end date together and if we try to execute it let's yeah i'm pushing the soap ui and we have the start date and also the effective end date here right and we are formatting it let's execute it and here we get the output and here if we see that okay we have got person we have got employment information we have compensation information but then there is only one slice and which is the one slice that is 1st of January 2020 slice which is ending on 2nd of April 2020. So this is the only slice which is going to be active on 1st of April 2020. So if you go back to the slide points here, so what has happened is here the start date condition matches with the slice 2 of comp info. So the start date condition, so what happens whenever we have the effective end date, so first of all, uh, we are like assume the query is being run without effective end date being placed there in the query so without effective end date filter what is the query so it is user id for 103246 and the start date is greater than or equal to 1st of april 2020 so in that case so start date greater than or equal to 20 1st of april 2020 so this would be matched by the 1st of April 2020. So this would be matched by the second slice of the compensation because that is the start date which is having, which is greater than 1st of April 2020, right? So it matches here and then since it matches and with the start date, we know that the entire object is being returned uh, if, even if any uh, a part of the slice is compared and it shows up and results in true. So we know that okay, this particular entire object would be outputted. Now on top of it, you apply the effective end date filter. So which says that, okay, wherein uh, the effective end date is equal to 1st of April 2020. So out of these two slices, only the 
first one matches and hence the first one is outputted second one is not outputted so that is what is in effect being said over here now the return results are filtered by the effective ended condition with equal to operator hence final output is first slice of comp info uh, please note equal to operator effective ended filter is used here so yeah so we know that equal to operator is used here so important takeaway is start date returns the entire object even if only few or one segment is matched effective ended returns only the segments which qualify the condition of course the other segments which are not considered by these select parameters are outputted example person and employment information all right so now coming to the uh, yet another slide so what we have now is so we will try to execute a particular query wherein we have started greater than equal to that is the same clause that we have for greater than equal to first of april and now instead of the equal to we will have greater than equal to for the effective end date and if we try to execute this particular query wherein now the effective end date instead of equal to is having the greater than equal to supported it is an equal to operator and if you try to execute it and here now we see both the compensation information slices are returned so the entire object is returned in this particular case so here the start date condition matches with the slice 2 we know the start date matches with the slice 2 and uh, since here effective end date we have greater, greater than equal to operator so not only the current but if there is any future assigned segment in the returned output that matches the condition is also returned hence in this case both the slices of the compensation information is returned so both of the slices have come across because started condition matched with and the entire object was returned and then the last modified uh, sorry effective end date greater than equal to 1st of april 2020 also matched with the both of the slices now uh, having understood this so now let's try to execute one query having the last modified on filter so we have the last modified on first of april so that is where like uh, in order to gather the composition permission for this user if we would have been making use of last modified on so let's see uh, whether we would have been able to get the information that what is the payroll of this particular user going to be and if you try, try to execute it here and we see we do not get any results right yeah going to the slide points so no data is returned here since the condition is applied on the last modified on and this condition basically tries to find if there is any modifications be it deletion as well as per the date supplied in this example there is no modification hence no data is returned so there were no modification on the particular object once it was created and uh, the last modified on greater than changes after the 1st of april 2020 there were no changes and hence last modified on would not return any data so important takeaway is if only the select parameter last modified on was being used by the other application to get the results of payroll as on april as on 1st of april 2020 then there would not have been any payroll for this particular employee so that is how it is important that okay we know the this distinguishing features of these three date parameters here and in the next session we'll continue understanding more of these uh, different comparative study between these three parameters thank you